everybody, it's Richard Slade, and I've been making videos on vibrato and tremolo and tone production on the harmonica, and today I'd just like to play around with a steam train imitation because it's a great way for you to develop these techniques to turn them into a steam train imitation because you're using the, harm the, the, the basic breathing patterns, you're using the... Uh, the chord bending techniques and you're also just getting into some interesting storytelling using only sound you're creating a sound landscape with the harmonica uh, what i was just doing was i was playing a, a steam train imitation on a key of g harmonica by the way if you want to play along i'm going to be doing some very i'm going to break this down and if you want to play along with me you can pause the video go get a key of g marine band or diatonic harmonica 10 hole richter tuned <laughs> harmonica and come back and we'll work on this together so what i was just playing was a vintage marine band harmonica it's the, the uh, this is like a I don't know about a 75 year old harmonica and it has the the old pure just intonation tuning which means that when you play the uh, the the draw chord whoa when you have the harmonica on the right side up it gives you a very pure chord and which is nice for these steam train imitations Here's a more uh, modern tuning that, that doesn't have that, that, that same... You hear the dissonance? Now you can still do a great steam tune imitation with whatever G harmonica you have, but if you, if you want to really get the, 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 that vibe of the old recordings, when you start listening to recordings, listen to people like Lonnie Glosson, Bert Bilbro, uh, Palmer Maccabee, uh, what's that guy's name? The guy with, uh, anyhow, I'll put a list down for you to, uh, to follow up on. And let's get back to this process. So I'm going to use this, this harmonica. <laughs> that's closer to what is an out, more out of the box harmonica, uh, you know, as far as the tuning goes. Okay, so what was I doing? To begin with, I was doing the, basics, the basic br harmonica breathing exercise that I, I keep talking about. <laughs> Except, I was adding steam by just going on the on the blow note. So I'm just I'm backing off. I'm backing my mouth away a little bit from the harmonica. So I'm actually kind of a so on the blow notes. I I'm not really completely on the harmonica so there's air escaping around the harmonica and it gives us this really cool steam sound <laughs> and another thing I did was imitate the sound of the driving wheels slipping on the on the uh, on the steel rails when uh, steam trains tried to get too much uh, too much of a head, too much power in the uh, in the driving wheels. Sometimes they would slip, and they suddenly speed up. So you you're, you have this sound. So. and then they catch again. So you can you you have this build up. You start real slow. And I also did a little uh, at the beginning as like a, and you can also add something like all aboard. So try that. 
All aboard. It's a good introduction. See if you can get that. Okay, and then if you start nice and slow. I gotta switch harps. That harp's hanging up on me. And then see if you can like triple the speed to get that driving wheel slip. Okay, so that's a good way to start a steam train imitation. And if you don't want to get that fancy, it's fine. You can just start slow and then bring it up, bring the speed up. But then eventually you're going to get to the, the train whistle. And that's an, a draw on holes four, five, and six. You can also, there are, there are many different train whistles, but that's the, the, the basic one. And so once you get the train going, you're going to drop the steam out because you're, you're going to want to go faster with your, with your, with the, you know, you want to accelerate with your, and that's a lot easier to do if you're right on top of the, the, uh, your, if you've got the harmonica back in your mouth, nice and deep. And I'm doing this with a diaphragm push mostly. Great diaphragm training to be able to get that speed from slow, you know, slow, slow, slow to medium to fast. And see how fast you can take this and keep it consistent. You're going to really support your, your, your lungs with your your lower abdominal muscles, those other, all those other muscles around your middle, so you can really work that diaphragm. And you may also be using a throat articulation, but I concentrate as much as possible on, on the way you're moving your diaphragm. But you want to get that articulation. Okay, so that will give you your speed, and then you can get a certain amount of speed with that. And then from there, it's a matter of varying your textures and creating things with your hands. Like, for instance, you can imitate the sound of a train going over a trestle bridge by moving your hand away to... to, to, to uh, That gives that impression of the of the sound being cut off by the, the parts of the bridge. Uh, another really cool trick is suddenly dropping the sound out to imitate the sound of the train going through a tunnel. You want to keep breathing so you keep the rhythm uh, consistent so that when you you pump back in, you're, you're, you're still got the same basic rhythm. Okay, so that's another really cool effect you can do. Now, here's another thing you can do to create the illusion of it going off into the distance is once you, you, you start it's just dropping down in volume and another way that um, Lonnie Glosson used this really cool effect where he's going 
You know, take it, 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 try it, take 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 And then, when you're off in the distance and you do your train whistle, you can really work the hand effects and give it this kind of spooky sound and see if you can also sync up with the, with the rhythm of the... So I'm, I'm using a mosquito tone. If you're not sure what that is, I've got other videos where I talk about tone stuff. Basically, you're going from bass tone to mosquito tone by working the inside of your mouth. That's what the, the train rhythm allows you to do, is to really work the whole palette of tone color. So now you got the train going off in the distance and you're gonna to wanna to bring it back around and uh, into the station. So you're gonna start picking up the volume again and going back to the double in breath, double out breath. So you might go something like this. Now you're bringing it back and bringing the volume back up. <laughs> you can bend the chord too. And that's another thing you can also do to create the illusion of the, you know, like the, do the Doppler effect. As the train goes by, the sound, the, the, uh, the chord rises and falls in volume. To give it that feeling of it's passing and by you, you just basically come up with a little story. And, and, and if you're doing this for a, a crowd, you might even want to map it out and tell them in advance what you're going to do. Like, okay, we're going to have the train take off down. It's going to cross over a bridge through a tunnel, go off in the distance, come around the mountain, come back into, you know, the station and uh, or something like that. And also, of course, look up other great harmonica steam train imitations. D. Ford Bailey is another one who did some phenomenal uh, steam train imitations. There are there are a lot they're out there if you look for them. All right. So anyhow, bring it back into the station. So you bring it back. You start slowing down, you start putting the breath back into it. So that's a good way to end it. You can also, you know, imitate the conductor. Everybody out this away. Like, everybody out this away, or name the station, come up with something. We're now in Altoona, Pennsylvania, whatever. So I hope this gives you some ideas. Quick recap, the basic train imitation is double in breath, double out breath. You start off real slow and you add steam on the out breath. And your whistle is in the middle and you can you can also bend the whistle work on
and that creates another whole world of, of sound. You can use Go Off Into the Distance by modulating your, your volume, and you can also use an out-breath articulation on the low notes in the harmonica, like a tick 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 And use the hand, play around with the hands. This is a great way to explore what a hand vibrato does. And just have fun with it and come up with a come up with a plot and do a very simple one where you just go off and then you come back and get back to the station and stop and then the crowd goes nuts because you don't hear this very often these days and it's a great solo harmonica thing that you can do for an open mic, that sort of thing, and uh, you don't need to coordinate playing with a band. So I hope you found that useful, and uh, if you do, there's a little comment area down below. You can join my channel, uh, sign up for notifications, and uh, just uh, keep in touch. I'll be coming up with more videos soon, so Till then, have fun, and uh, I'll be in touch.